And now this belongs to all of you. It doesn't belong to any government, it doesn't belong even to the federal government. It belongs to all the riot of Malaysia. More than a century ago, oil was discovered on Canada Hill in Miri, Sarawak, and Britain's Royal Dutch Shell became the first oil company to begin exploration and exploitation of the resource. In the late 60s, less than a decade after Malaysia won its independence, it became clear that these important resources had to come under Malaysian control. The outbreak of war in the Middle East and the subsequent oil embargo reinforced the view that the nation's oil wealth could not remain in foreign hands. Tunku Razali Hamza, who was given the task of setting up the National Oil Corporation, Petroleum Nacional Berhad, or Petronas, and appointed its first chairman, had one priority. He wanted to ensure that as a custodian of a resource that belonged to the nation, Petronas must be led by the right people. I need people who are incorruptible, people who can become competent, people who will not be greedy, people who are not egoistical, people who are not going to make a show of themselves. You know. They're just going to working, be working for, the, for, for all of us, for the people, as, as trustees. An uncompromising faithfulness to this principle and strict corporate governance requirements have made Petronas what it is today, Malaysia's only Fortune 500 company. It is the country's leading income earner, way ahead of even the biggest corporations on Bursa Malaysia. As Tengku Razali points out, the start is very important. You start with a bad habit, you will end up with a bad habit. We've heard of national oil companies going down the tube because of incompetency, because of ignorance of market forces, because of greed, corruption and all that. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim agreed that these qualities were instrumental in making Petronas a major contributor to Malaysia's growth and development. Tak mungkin kita capai prestasi sebaik ini kalau pengurusan dan tata kelolanya tidak baik dan tidak cemerlang. Petronas telah mencatat bukan saja kemajuan dan pulangan kepada syarikat dan kepada negara kerana pulangan dana dari Petronas kepada negara ini dari kita keuangan dari kita keuangan itu dah menjadi sampai ratusan bilion ringgit. Recounting its half century of growth, Tunku Razali noted that Petronas has recorded extensive progress and brought huge returns to the country. Thousands of people were involved in directly related and indirectly related uh, oil and gas uh, projects. With a footprint in over 100 countries today, Petronas is poised to build on the momentum and strength of the past 50 years while pivoting strategically to embrace sustainability. Natasha Bust, FMT News.